Yeah. Like Rushdale? Love, love Getty Lee and his wonderful voice. Got this on the vinyl. Spirit of the radio. Alright, alright. I'll go, I'll go change it. I thought I would go old school today, break out the good tunes, since I owe Dale a song. <laughs> Hope you can hear it, Dale. Dale beat me, I got working man. Or no, it, sorry, I'm not feeling so good today, but nose is all stuffed up, my throat's sore, mostly from losing. Anyway, Dale said that if uh, he won, he wanted Born on the Bayou. I said if I won, I get Working Man. I'm not getting Working Man this week. Anyway, you see Dog Shirt behind me here. Hangs in the rafters like a Nazi flag. So, it, yeah, you don't want this. It's that bad. It's like a, that's, how, that's the comparison of Nazi flag. You don't want that. You don't want that hanging in your closet. Anyway. All right, guys. We're going to get to it. Hopefully the music doesn't fuck up this whole video. Um, we'll look at this week. This week was pretty good. Uh, we had... We'll go to Dog Shirt Bowl, because this is what matters most now. 173 to 52. Uh, Chinny got his ass blown out. Not your fault, Chinny. It's okay. Joe just had a fucking awesome week with fucking Cam Newton. and Seahawks D, almost 40 points. Are you fucking kidding me? So I believe, Dale, please correct me if I'm wrong, I still have not written down the highest score in league history, but I believe that's probably going to be it right there. It's 172 points. Uh, Dream Team edges out going green with Vic Fairley. So this means, I wish I had fireworks and effects, but that back there no longer belongs to Jordan and will not belong to Jordan. So nice job, Jordan. You don't get it. Uh, but now the two people that are playing each other, we'll get well, we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, I played Dale this week. If Wes Wilker could have got a fucking touchdown, it would have been over. But his dumbass can only get three receptions for 52 yards. 81-86 was our final. Dale beat me. Good game, Dale. I uh, congratulated him last night. He also uh, put me through on the ticket again. I finally got Dale. So also thank you for putting me through, Dale. I didn't want to post it on Facebook because they would have been like, Hey, this guy's putting his friends through. Let's can him. So I don't want to get Dale canned. Uh, Team Cool Shirt destroys, destroys the Seattle Sunders. What was that about being best in the West? Best in the West. Worst in the West. You suck, Derek. Losing. Yeah. I just wanted you to lose because, you know, you beat me and you kept, you kept beating me and you kept posting. So, yeah. Good job, Jerry. Jerry Jones. Uh, cool shirt. Riding your coattails, you and Dale. Because I don't need Mike to get a fucking Denver, another fucking Peyton jersey. Ugh. And I don't even know what Jeff would do if he won. I, I, don't, I don't think we could all handle the, the another year of just... The gloating would be, like, tenfold. He'd probably get a Super Bowl ring made. Be like, two-time champ. Jeff, yeah. That's right. Uh, this week, we're going to start off with winner's bracket. Dale versus Mike, number one versus number four. Projections are pretty decent. Let's see what happens. Um, team Cool Shirt versus... I have a big T-boner. Uh, I don't think Cool Shirt's making it past, but most of us are pulling for him. I think Jeff's going to the Bush Bowl again. Ugh, he's like the Patriots of our league. Just won't go away. Speaking of Patriots, holy shit. It was a blowout Monday night. Uh, consolation, Brett ladder, um, which is the dog shirt bowl. We don't care about Jordan and Joe playing, because they're not playing for shit no more. This is it! Game over, man! Chinny versus TJ. Best of the worst. Who wins? Projections are extremely close. 97-84. Chinny might have an explosive week against TJ like he did against Jeff that one time. Who will earn dog shirt? Most likely it's going to be you, Chinny. It's okay, though. 
We know you want it. Uh, but TJ could be you. Could be you. Anyway, let's get to let's get to our trophies here. I'm not doing all of them. I'm just doing the important ones, like uh, best, worst, GMC. So uh, worst all time, Chitty with 52 points. Best all time was Joe, probably set the league record with 173. Chinny gets to change it up for bringing Bush, like 16 ounces of, of just the original Bush. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I'm going to give it to him this week. No one else had odd beers. So. And last but not least, GMC Never Say Never. They always gave this out, even into the playoffs, so I want to keep that one going. Dale earns this by beating me 86-81 GMC like a rock. So uh, as the uh, CCR record continues... We got Thursday night this week, Bengals, Eagles. I work Monday through Friday now, so no more Monday or Thursdays. Unless I request it off, which I got nothing else to request off now that I have weekends. So I'm going to take a week off and then just destroy them for Mondays and Thursdays when the NFL schedule comes out. Just request like two weeks of Mondays and Thursdays. Um, one o'clock games, no one gives a shit about nothing. No one cares. Oh, wait. The greatest game. Bears-Packers. Yeah. Gonna clinch this week. Yeah. Knock them Bears out. Get the Vikings in. Because the Vikings are playing the Rams. Unless the Rams, like, pull a fucking just amazing stop. But, doubt it. Uh, Four o'clock game of the week for us. Who cares what their game of the week is? America's game of the week for us is gonna be uh, Lions-Cardinals. I say us because I'm, I'm stuck in your fucking... Your your thing, your region. So get stuck with that. I'm not a Lions fan. Let's make that clear. My game of the week is one o'clock, which I will be missing. I'll be at a family Christmas party, praying they have TV in this restaurant. Uh, also CBS is running their game of the week. Probably is going to be Steelers Cowboys. It would be a divisional matchup if the Chiefs from Raiders were good, but they're not. Steelers Cowboys. Um, Sunday night. Well, we're doing Sunday night here. Still doing Sunday night. 820, Niners Pats. Arguably the best defense in the league. And then you got fucking Patriots just like just like fisting them. It's bad. It's gonna be rape. I got I got the Pats taking them. That's my guess. Uh, and Monday night Jets Titans. Ha! Worst. But anyway, yeah. Here it comes, guys. Second round. You ready? Um, see how this goes. Nervous. Nervous. Uh, most of you don't have it like Joe, Jordan, Derek, me. We don't have anything riding on this anymore, so fantasy doesn't mean shit. But guess what? It does. I'm going to pay attention to the teams I want to win now. I want to see who wins the dog shirt. Who's going on to play in the Bush Bowl? If it's Mike versus Jeff, it's like, holy shit. Who do I want to win? I don't, I don't want either of them to win because I either have to air gloating for two years or see a fucking another Broncos jersey. Ugh. Ugh. It's the worst. And, uh, yeah, still haven't gotten any videos from TJ or J Jeff, by the way. Still waiting. TJ said he was going to goat you. So <laughs> can't, even, can't even keep a straight face. It just sounds so ridiculously funny. But, uh,. All right, guys. Happy hunting. Let's see what happens. We got Denver Downs by Bounty Hunters here on Monday night. All right, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you all Sunday night.